Yo, what's going on, guys? The Kitty G on EGTV. I'm back again. Why did I say EGTV? It's Egal Talks Football. I got to get used to it, and you guys got to get used to it also. But yeah, first things first, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You guys know this is another uploaded video. So the, the more likes, the more people see it, the more it gets pushed out on the algorithm, and it helps the brother out a lot. So make sure you do that. Second of all, let's get straight into the news. As you guys can see here, we're going to be talking about Jude Bellingham to Arsenal potentially because there are links that he would be willing to snub Liverpool in order to come to Arsenal. Also, another thing that we're going to be talking about is the Manchester City situation. And rumor has it that Man City are now scared of Arsenal and they will no longer be selling to Arsenal. And they're having general inquiries on how they even got themselves in a situation where they sold to a direct rival. Also, we're going to be talking about Bakayo Saka, the wonder kid, the man himself is now looking more and more likely that he has an agreed contract with Arsenal. And the rumor has it that the contract is going to be around 200K per week. And it's going to be a whopping five-year contract. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get any further, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are well. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the chat about all those stories. But first, let's begin with Bakayo Saka. Bakayo Saka is getting a new contract, ladies and gentlemen. And we already know that Bakayo Saka has been looking to get a new contract for a while now. But rumor has it that Arsenal are even more confident and they've been confident for a while. But a little birdie makes me think that this deal is already done. Now, this is almost confirming that Bakayo Saka's deal has already been priorly done with rumors coming out that Bakayo Saka's contract is close to an agreement for a long-term contract, believe that it will be five years, and timing of the World Cup delayed the, the form, uh, formalization of it from pen to paper. But reports that told that sponsors are very confident that the deal with Bakayo Saka is over the line and a new contract worth around 200K per week, as reported by Football, in, uh, Football Insider 247, and total expectation of five years and a whopping 52 million in total will be given to Bakayo Saka. Now, Bakayo Saka deserves every single penny. And in my opinion, I think the Bakayo Saka contract has been sorted a long time ago. They're just waiting to finalize everything. They're waiting to get everything sorted. And let's be honest, we still have Bakayo Saka tied down for a little bit longer, so we don't really need to worry. My, my main thing is, I would have thought, hey, get it sorted before the World Cup, because if he has a big World Cup, that could add some more dollar signs to it. He could add more people and maybe he could get his head turned. But we still have him under contract for so long and we can trigger an extra year also. So we're good with Bakayo Saka. And this just confirms what I was thinking this whole time, that this Bakayo Saka contract has been previously already sorted out. I was always thinking that Bakayo Saka had his contract sorted. I was always thinking that Bakayo Saka, it was pretty much done and dusted and he was going to stay at Arsenal. And every time Fabrizio Romano was asked about it, you guys know what he said. Every time he said Bakayo Saka loves it at Arsenal. He wants to stay at Arsenal. It's a club that he wants to be at. And we've been hearing about buyout clauses. We've been hearing about Manchester City. We've been hearing about other clubs like Chelsea and Todd Bowley after him. But none of that matters because Bakayo Saka is an Arsenal player and he'll be staying an Arsenal player for the foreseeable future. Hopefully this contract will be finalized the moment he comes back from, uh, from, the, Euro, uh, from the World Cup. And he hopefully has a great World Cup with England and they get far. But of course, we need him fit and healthy for Arsenal and we need to see him get his contract sorted out. So hopefully he can get that sorted out. And as reported right now by Football Insider 247, it looks like it's pretty much done. And sp when sponsors are being told that he's going to be staying around, bring in more dollars, you know, you know. Let's be honest. Sponsors are the first to know that these deals are being done and everything else, and brand deals and everything else going around with them. Let's be honest. We already knew that the moment you uh, a sponsor is saying, yo, what's happening? Is he staying? And the sponsor here is, yeah, he's staying. The deal's done. The deal's done. But yeah, enough about Bakayo Saka's contract. Now let's move on to the other side of things. You guys know we, saw, we, we have these players called Zinchenko, Gabriel Jesus, that came from Manchester City. So Manchester City didn't view us as a threat just a couple of weeks ago. They didn't view us as a threat. They didn't view us as anybody that they needed to worry about. But what happens? We climbed up that Premier League table. We went a little bit too close to them and now above them. And now they're starting to worry. Now they're starting to look at how did this happen? How did we let this happen? That's what they're saying to themselves. And this is what come out. Manchester City are now doing a formal internal investigation on themselves on how they let 
two first team players in Zinchenko and Gabriel Jesus joined their rivals who are now their biggest rivals in competition to win the Premier League. Yes, they think they're worried. Manchester City are scared, ladies and gentlemen. They're in fear that they might have let Jesus and Sinchenko walk, improve another Premier League team to the point where they've now implemented a rule. The rule is Manchester City will no longer sell to Arsenal anymore. They will not sell any first team players to Arsenal. They will not sell any players to Arsenal anymore. They will try to keep it anything that they sell out of out of the league or maybe to a team that they feel like will not threaten them if it is in the Premier League but they will no longer be selling to direct rivals within the top 6 that is that is what they're saying they they're definitely not going to sell to Arsenal anymore so if you were thinking about we we're going to get Holland it's not happening if you think we're going to get Kevin De Bruyne when he's about to retire it's not happening it's not happening but you know what i'm just going to say to the Manchester City board did you forget about Samir Nasri did you forget about Gael Clichy did you forget about Bakri Sanya? Did you forget about um, Adebayo? We've sent you guys a lot of players. It's because of Arsenal that, that that you guys got your first title. If you really think about it, you're just do, you're just returning the favor. That's what it is. That's all it is, ladies and gentlemen. They're just returning the favor. But Pep Guardiola and Arteta are good buddies, and they know each other. But the Manchester City board and setup are quite upset about how things have worked out. And what am I going to say? I'm going to sit back, relax, and laugh because I'm enjoying myself, ladies and gentlemen. Arsenal's top of the league. We're doing our thing. And all I got to say is thank you very much, Manchester City. If you guys want to give us more players, we'll take them. We will take them. If you got more players for us, we will take them. We are definitely, definitely open to have more Manchester City players on, on our books if, if you'd like because the, the players that you guys have provided us have been – integral to, to how we play, integral to how we've been performing lately. And let's be honest, if it's not for the experience that these guys bring to the table, we would not be where we are also. Uh, you got to give some credit to Gabriel Jesus and, and Zinchenko. And of course, Mikel Arteta and the boys, all of them, it, they've been, it, 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 it's been a collective. It's been a collective thing that's gotten us to this point. And it's, it's great to see. Now, in other news, let me give you guys some other news quickly. Let me give you guys some other news quickly uh, before we go into the Jude Bellingham stuff. Um, the Smith, Emil Smith Rowe. Yes, Emil Smith Rowe was seen, uh, reported speaking to Sky Sports, and he is really confident in the team, the England team. He was speaking about how strong the England team is, but he also spoke about a little bit of something else. He spoke about when he thinks he could return into the squad, right? He's hopeful that he'll return to the squad by the first game back from the World Cup, as you can see right there. He's very hopeful that he's going to return. So the Smith, Emil Smith Rowe, will be back, ladies and gentlemen, very, very soon. That is great news right there. As you guys already know, we've already spoken about the Man City stuff. But there is some Michaelo Mudrik information that's coming around. And it's the same kind of information that we, call, we consistently keep hearing. Former Ukrainian footballer speaks about Mudrik, and he says, uh, here to see a 100 million figure on uh, a Shakhtar Dunas value, value him. We equate that to not the Ukrainian Premier League, but the English Premier League. And opponents, they are stronger there. So he's basically speaking about how he, the, he might, uh, the value might translate and everything else. That's pretty much what I'm reading into that. Um, equate the, he's, not, he's not comparing the Premier League and that, but what, do you, what else is he saying? He's saying... The, it's crazy potential. He can score any moment, but the hundred million pound figure puts pressure on him. Hundred percent, hundred percent. That hundred million pound figure puts pressure on anybody, ladies and gentlemen. And as you guys know, yesterday there was more stuff that came out about Michaela Modric, and we're gonna we did a whole video on that. So go check out that video. It's on the chat. Uh, uh, it'll be it'll be live after the game. It will be live after the video, by the way. But yeah, before we move on, there's just a couple more stories. Of course, we already know that Gabriel Martinelli is also another player who's going to have to sign a contract and William Saliba is another player who's going to sign a contract. We're going to have to wait and see when they sign that contract. But Martinelli recently spoke about being rejected by Manchester United and he also spoke about the fact that he will now be looking to put pen to paper for Arsenal. So I'm very ho hopeful that 
Martinelli's contract is going to get sorted and Bakayo Saka's contract is going to be sorted. So I'm looking forward to both of those. And in other news, there was also yesterday, there were some rumors about Charlie Patino potentially being linked away from the club to Barcelona. But it looks like rumors is that he's going to be returning back to Arsenal after his loan. And he might be able to put pen to paper for another contract uh, over there. Charlie Patino being another player that we need to tie down for the, for the foreseeable future. He is a very, very exciting young player that we have in our books currently. And we have a lot of young, exciting players, but we need to hold on to all of our young and exciting players because we cannot afford to lose any of them for free. Even if we do sell them, we need to sell them for a good price, like we sold Iwobi and we sold Joe Willick. Now, Let's go on to this story right here just before we go on to the final story of the day. Palmeiras are willing to sell Danilo, and if there is an offer of 20 million, uh, there are no offers on the table. The 21 year old right now, Arsenal did not make an offer in the middle of the two, 2020, uh, and, it and it had it rejected. It remains uh, interest from Ajax and Monaco, also in the mix. I spoke about this yesterday. Basically, if Arsenal do not go and put the money down, we're not going to get him. So we need to go and we need to put the money down. 20 million euros is not much. It's like 17 million pounds. That's a reasonable price for a 21-year-old midfielder who's also being looked at by Monaco and Ajax, showing that he has esteemed potential. We cannot lose out on this guy. If we get him in, that's another player that can battle with Thomas Pate in that position and potentially be Thomas Pate's successor. That would be wonderful to already have that successor in place before Thomas Pate gets of age where we need to start worrying about him. But yeah, now, finally, finally, the final story of the day. This is why it was a quick one. This is why it's an upload. There's no need for me to be sitting there for an hour to discuss the same thing. You guys can get it in bite-sized formats. And this is why you love it. Don't forget to hit that like button right now if you've gone this far in the video. Now, Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham is uh, to snub Liverpool in favor of Arsenal. Um, uh, this is this is this is not only uh, this is from former Chelsea player has said Jude Bellingham should snub Liverpool to join Arsenal. Also, there's claims that former Tottenham stars claims that Jude Bellingham would fit Arsenal better than Liverpool. Then you have another article here saying Arsenal will have a chance to sign Jude Bellingham. Of course we will have a chance to sign Jude Bellingham. And the reason being, Agent Ben White. Agent Ben White is on the job during international duties. Agent Ben White has been photographed with Jude Bellingham on a regular basis. But all jokes aside, Jude Bellingham in that Granit Xhaka loan six role would suit us perfectly. Now, I know it's very unrealistic to say, oh, we're going to be able to attract a player like Jude Bellingham. But say Arsenal are in a title contention this season. Say Arsenal are a team that gets Champions League football and is finishing either first or second in the league. Wouldn't a young, ambitious player join a team that is in title contention? And don't forget, this team is still very young. We are only going to get better people. Yes, with age comes experience, comes another level. So what is currently our biggest weakness could become our biggest strength in acquiring a player like Jude Bellingham. Honestly, I think it's possible. Will it happen this summer? We'll have to find out. But don't rule it out. Arsenal right now are a different animal, and we become more and more, more and more realistic for these other players that, that a couple years ago wouldn't have been as realistic because we had an aging squad, we weren't competitive. But now that we're competitive, don't rule it out. Jude Bellingham to Arsenal? I give It's a 50-50 shot right now. It's just, will the club play that kind of money for an individual? That's what you got to ask yourself. But yeah, let me know in the chat what you guys think about Jude Bellingham to Arsenal. Do you think it's possible? Let me know what you think about Bakayo Saka's contract. Is it done? Or, or, and are they, are they just waiting on, on, on getting the announcement sorted? And finally, what do you guys think about Manchester City being scared of Arsenal? Because you don't make a rule like this unless you're scared. But yeah, I'm out of here, people. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Peace out, love and respect to everybody who's watching. And if you guys want to catch me, I'm going to be doing a video after this with me, Kendall, uh, Hamza, and my boy Kunle. We're going to be talking about the World Cup. And of course, I did do two videos. Yet I did a couple of videos yesterday. You can go check that out. The video I did on, on Edu, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo saying, I hope Arsenal win. And uh, Michaela Mudrik. And tonight's video is Neymar can hijack Messi and Ronaldo's last World Cup. But yeah, I'm out of here, people. You guys have yourselves a good one and enjoy the World Cup out. out. Enjoy.